comprised of three modules, 23 and a half feet long, and weighs 15,700 pounds. Uh, the descent module in the middle is situated uh, in the middle of the Soyuz vehicle. It contains customized seats for the crew members during launch, entry, and landing, and contains all of the controls and displays necessary for flight. It also contains life support systems, batteries for re-entry and landing, and the parachutes and soft landing rocket engines that slow the Soyuz down before touchdown when the Soyuz lands in Kazakhstan. There are eight hydrogen peroxide thrusters located on the module that are used to control the spacecraft's orientation or attitude during the descent until parachute deployment. It also has guidance, navigation, and control system to maneuver the vehicle during the descent phase of the mission. This descent module weighs over 6,000 pounds with a habitable volume of 141 cubic feet. Approximately 110 pounds of payload can be returned to Earth in this module. The descent module is the only portion of those three that you saw earlier that survives the return to Earth. You're seeing the hatch open to the top portion. This is the orbital module. Uh, connects the descent module via a pressurized hatch. It is where the crew has a small amount of room to move around during the flight to the International Space Station. Has a volume of 230 cubic feet with a docking mechanism hatch and rendezvous antenna located at the front end. The docking mechanism is used to dock with the space station and the hatch allows entry into the orbiting complex. The rendezvous antenna is used by the automated docking system, which uses radar to maneuver towards the station for docking, again scheduled six hours from launch. There is also a forward-looking window in the module that the crew can use to take manual measurements of distance and closing speed with a laser rangefinder in the event of failure of the rendezvous radar system. That last module in the back is the propulsion module, it houses the oxygen storage tanks, the main engine, the attitude control thrusters, avionics, and communication and control equipment. The propulsion portion of this module handles all orbital maneuvers, including those needed for the rendezvous with the space station and the deorbit burn at the end of the spacecraft's mission. Before they are deployed, the two solar arrays that you see there are folded against the body of the propulsion module, which separates from the descent module after the deorbit burn, along with the orbital module. The solar panels span almost 35 feet. The entire spacecraft serves not only as the crew transport vehicle to and from the station, but also serves as an emergency return vehicle in the event the crew should have to leave the station.